guys, so welcome back to my channel today, and we are doing a brand new Sims 4 video today, and so today is the day when I finally do a build and buy review of the Sims 4, my first pet stuff, but I did receive an early access code from me, I do a review of this video, so anyway, all opinions are my own, I have a, a few concerns I want to express about this pack, because I have some hard burn feelings that I just want to, you know, let out. <laughs> Anyway, so this is a, a build and buy overview. If you guys want to check out my cast overview, I will leave the link down below in the description for you guys to check it out because I did explain a little bit more in that video how I feel about this pack. But overall, we have three pre-made rooms for this pack. So this one's called Casually Caddy. And oh my gosh, wait, hold up. Is this a water coffee table? Oh, you, what? what? Hold up, what is this called? Tap, tap, tape. <gasps> no. Hold up. Where's it at? Go ahead and set items down in the surface in the aquarium. The fish won't mind a little tapping. In fact, they've been specifically trained to ignore it. You know, just like Finding Nemo when that little girl with the braces tapped on the glass repeatedly. Ha! Anyway, but we have a pre-made room and I love that coffee table. But personally, okay. Um, <laughs> but the next pre-made room is called Sleep Time Pals. And that looks really reminds me of um, Rugrats a little bit of Chucky and um, his room a little bit, but it, it, it looks so kid friendly. My favorite kid, oh my gosh, this is like my dream, but I want this now, but this is so freaking cool. I actually kind of like this room and this carpet fits well. The desk looks amazing, little stickers on the side, that little hamster, wait, hold up, <gasps> no. Wait, that's a void critter, oh my gosh. He's, he's full, content and, wait, hunger, full. Attention, content, activity, content. Okay, nice, nice to know that you're, you know, a happy camper. But we have another premium room called Hamster Playground. And then this one I saw in the trailer. And I thought that this wall right here, like this wall decal was for like an actual object where your hamsters can like roam around and go through this like, you know, tunnel by themselves. That's pretty, pretty neat. And we have a new, oh, that's really cool. Like a new little play area and a new, you know, ruler. A little hamster right here and his is actually hammy the hamster so he has his own little one as well that's pretty neat as coolio so we don't have we have two brand new doors for them so we have two new doggy doors uh actually they're both modern so it's pretty nice so shouldn't your dogs wait shouldn't your dog doors match your make modern mansion well now it can the skinny windows will both complement your home's aesthetic but will help prevent any like dust punts okay at the doorway. So we have two brand new doggy doors. We have a pupper's door and a doggo's door. So we have two brand new ones. And I thought we were, we were gonna get like, you know, an actual full white modern glass door with this pack because of this modern right here. When it said modern, I immediately thought, okay, maybe we'll get a modern door. <laughs> that is not the case. Um, but that's all we got for the um, this stuff right here. But for the objects, we have quite a few. So we have the Rise and Shine Sleepy Bed. Oh, wait, that's like a new pet bed, but why are they so flat? Yeah, what? <laughs> so like when I saw this pack, I thought like, okay, maybe we'll get better pet beds that are not flat, but they're still flat. Um, but yeah, so these have come, oh wait, hold up. No, no, hold up, delete, delete. I wanna go through these watches right now because we have an egg, another green eggs and ham. We have a watermelon, we have a lemon. We have a monster that might eat my pet. Not good enough. Um, we have an avocado, a free shavakadu, a pink lemon, a steak. Ooh, a, ooh, a cooked steak. Okay, okay, I like that, okay. Um, but this one right here, we also have another one, a bigger one for our pets. So a doggo, another one, I think that one's a like cat dog. Okay, so you have a Dalmatian. That's nice. Oh, a little kitty. It reminds me of Eladora, but previous, like, aka Simmerkin, but El Eladora right now. But either way, this looks cute. It reminds me of Eladora, for sure. YouTube channel. Check it out. Link down below. Um, ooh, a tiger. Ooh, a rainbow one. Fantasia would love this. Um, I love that one. But yeah, that's all the swatches we have for that one. And then for the Hampton Hamptons chair. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they did not use that line. Um, and so everyone knows the hamster's tummy is where the softest fur is. Now you can t now you can lounge on the lap of the snuggly old Hampton the hamster. Oh, it's so nice. It's kind of cute looking. Aw, a little strawberry, a little candy. Aw, 
this looks that's that's really really cute i actually kind of like this a lot because i'm all i'm all for the build and buy because i'm a builder and you know more objects the better my builds will get it's just my aesthetic okay i personally love this build and buy already so we have a nay desk chair which is the one actually right here of this desk and um i guess it's like a nice little cat little chair which is really nice i think this one's it has a variety of swatches though I would say this is like more for my kindergarten, my kindergarten type rooms. So we have actually two. Oh, a snuggle seat. So with cats and dogs, we actually got like this bay window type of seat. And I personally love those seats a lot. We got three of those in that pack. And now we have another one with this pack. And so I'm like even more happy that we have one. So we have a couple of swatches here. Some of them actually have paw prints on them as well and good swatches too. And that's one we have here, which is the same one inside. And they did not do, they, they did the thing. They did the, oh, wait, hold up. Oh, wait, I wonder if you can do the same thing. Let me do it like that. Honestly, cause like, okay. So we have this brand new seat right here. And I thought like, like when I saw this immediately, I thought to myself, hmm, maybe we'll get like, you know, the other side of the couch to attach with it, but we didn't. But either way, I can still attach the same couch to both of the sides and make like a nice, <gasps> wait a minute. I did it. An L-shaped couch. Imaginations do come true. Dreams really do come true with this couch. But the fun fact is that your Sims cannot sit right here and lounge like their legs across. But it looks really, really nice this way. You know, imagination is at its finest. So we have a couple swatches here that do actually complement the nice other, you know, other chair as well. And a little, like a little, oh, cat dog. I've been waiting for this for the longest time. Like I was like waiting for like the right time to say like cat dog is the best show in the world or was the best show in the world and still is my like my pride and joy so you have not watched it it's on nickelodeon um on reruns actually and but yeah this is pretty really nice i like this little new couch l-shaped couch coming through but we have one brand new um tap tap table so i guess this one does not have an aquarium on it but it's like an end table and we have a brand new desk which is the same one this is actually like an up more an upscale of the of the same one that we got from cats and dogs because the other one that got in cats and dogs was an end table but now we have a desk that's pretty nice no a new addition to that but yeah we do have a couple swatches same one as cats and dogs and we have a brand new chow down litter box i almost said chow chow like deli um but this is like oh oh wait instead of oh i thought that was a brush right there i'm like wait cats can brush their own fur in their own litter box what they can clean their own stuff what a dream but no but we have a couple of swatches here and these are pretty pretty cute honestly me on a monday morning when i don't want to wake up for school same me <laughs> but um this is like really really cute i really do like these swatches though and so we have actually four brand new um little hamster cages like for our small little pets and um this is like really really nice for the hamsters so when i thought when i was seeing this pack for the first time like for on the, the teaser trailer but also the trailer itself i thought like with this pack like my first pet stuff i was immediately thinking of oh maybe we could run our own pet store but i don't think we can because we just can't but i overall think that maybe one day in the future we'll get some type of like feature where we can run our own pet store and sell our pets and put them up for adoption and sell them to like locals in the world um, but that's all we have here. We have four brand new cages. So we have one for Hammy the hamster. We have Timble the the hedgehog, and then we have we also have Whiskers the rodent, and then we also have Baloose the void critter pet that I cannot pronounce the name. So you have four of those right there. It does come in a variety of different swatches as well. And I believe with the hamsters and like all the other rodents as well, you can change their colors of their fur when you adopt one of them, which is really, really nice and really cute to give them a sense of personality to fit their needs of their cage. And if you guys did not see the trailer, your pets can actually run away in a rocket ship and like literally blast off like Jimmy Neutron. Like I'm not even kidding kind of hilarious and quite big for it like your small pets too which you know gives them more space for them to roam around be more friendly be just more open to them give them what they need and so that's what we've got for the cages and then we got a new wolf slash meow box so that one's pretty nice as well does come with different swatches so if we're your cats and dogs for like a little toy box but it does say the wolf box probably presents the preeminent play things for your pup and to work out their Pre-made pep. Okay. The mailbox contains a critter. Wait, wait. Hold up. What? 
cabulation of cute curios and certain charm to most catastrophic of cats. No matter which, no matter which you choose, your pet will surely love it. Well, that's nice. I want to read these things. Oh my gosh, I want to read these. Okay, what do they say? So it says, stomp your feet, clap your hands. Come on, everybody. It's... Oh my gosh, it did not do that. Wait. <laughs> wait. Stomp. Wait. Stomp your feet, clap your hands. Come on, everybody. It's do. Th it's the hams. Wait, what is that song? What's that the English song version of that? I have no idea. Record scratch. Shh. They must never find out about the dance. Back to plotting our escape. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what are you playing my child? Um, but this also says, perhaps you are a prickly, you have a prickly personality. If so, then the hedgehog may be the right pet for you. Before hedgehogs came into, um, ex wait, into extinct, they lived in an ocean as their, um, wait, hold up. Wait, they lived in the ocean as the creature we call a sea urchin. While these still disagree, Wait, there's still disagreement over what caused this critter to grow legs and walk onto land. Acknowledging that, that they might have a fantastic and make a fantastic pet is settled science. Oh, Timble, Timble, Timble the Hedgehog. Whiskers, it says, stand by Shuno. It's a wonderful town. Well, except the infamous rat infestation. You know, you're not wrong. <laughs> Running through the sewers, crawling through apartment walls, and they're, they're everywhere. Uh, wait, no. Wait, crawling through apartment building walls, they're everywhere. What's a mayor gotta? What's a what's a mayor to do? Thankfully, there's nothing, uh, nothing more a little bit political spin can fix. I can can I interest you in a pet rat? Hmm, probably not. How about you? Seriously, take three. They are wonderful companions. Mm -hmm, okay, <laughs> whiskers. Um, and then for uh, Baloo, it says, oh my gosh. So it says, for the the fourth in demand of the Void Critters television show has created. Has created an entire line of unexpected products. After taking a plush of Baloo's becoming a best selling toy in 2016, pet breeders saw an opportunity they were uniquely qualified to seize upon. Using the genetic engineering, they've taken the body of a hippopotamus, the color of a spiral, the color and the spiral shape of a violet sea snail, and the fur size and disposition of a hamster to create a new species animal dubbed of a dwarf baloose, now you can have one of these once, fun once functional creatures to call your very own. Oh, that's really nice. That's really nice. I, I, I actually kind of like all these descriptions for these pets. Besides this one, him and the hamster's a little bit suspicious. He's plotting his revenge of putting him in a cage. So, you know, back away, back away. Uh, but anyway, so moving right on, I, I just wanted to read those. I honestly low-key always love to read the descriptions of the objects because they're kind of hilarious the gurus are hilarious at making funny descriptions but we have a uh, cubs and kitties height chart for your kids to measure themselves when they grow up every day and we have a habit wait a habitat for hamsters horizontal oh we can make our own little thing right here oh that's so cool wait i wonder if we can connect these can connect the dots so we have a like, different type of sizes here that i think we have oh so we do okay so this is pretty nice. I kind of like how this goes, really. So we have the horizontal, we have the vertical, and then we have the connectors. So these are pretty much like a connectors for your um, hamster decal wall that you can see over here on this wall right here. It's more of a connector than anything else, which is really nice. But honestly, I thought this we were able to like have our hamsters like crawl through this and have some fun with it. So for the next object we got here is the pet pack. So it's like a collection of pets that you have on your wall and they're all very, very cute. It reminds me of Secret Life of Pets or Hotel for Dogs. And these are all very, very cute. It's like the same poster um, collection that we got from the, from I think from City Living, I believe. But either way, we got one of those. So for the next object we got is the Sky Cat Mirror. So you would, if you would ever look into the mirror of your wonderful face of your cats, then use this mirror to look at their reflection. Like I'm like right here. But I'm invisible because I'm a vampire, and vampires don't have a reflection. Because we are immortal, and we're already beautiful, okay? <laughs> so we have three new blinds, which honestly, these are huge. Huge curtains for sure. So these are pretty nice, actually. I think these are pretty... Oh. Ooh, okay, okay. Um, we have those, and then we have this medium-sized one as well. And then we have a small one for your smaller windows, which is nice. Same, same different swatches. So we also have a new rug. So rugs, uh, rugs in Cam, wait, Camabri, 
Can, what? Okay, words? Speak your, oh my lord, that, that poor hamster was flattened. No, oh, Ladybug, Pepe the Frog, oh, Pepe's cousin, Hilda, oh, oh my gosh, all these, oh, wait, we have a square, we have a circle one, we have a, like a rectangle type of square one with like round edges, oh, that's so nice, oh, these are really nice, I like these swatches, I like the top ones though, because they are really, really nice, oh no, that's not, um, that's not, that's her, that's Henrietta, Henrietta the Frog, Peppa the Frog, Henrietta the Frog, the cousin. Just saying. Anyway, but that's pretty nice. So next we all also have is the stump. Wait, stump for treat bowl. So we have a little a new pet bowl. Ooh. Okay. Um, that's nice. That's different. Ooh, wait. They have a grading on it. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Goldness. Gold. I just struck gold for my pets to have high quality pet food for sure. So you have a brand new cat condos and so. Honestly, I would thought I would think that you know cat condos would come with cats and dogs, which it did. But I feel like this could have been included with cats and dogs, though. Like these cat condos, just for cats, for cats and dogs only, because you know that's all I wanted. More cat condos. We like we have we have a variety of cat condos and cats and dogs, but you know I kind of would have liked a more a variety since like the generic ones. I wanted more of like style personality. Yeah. So, th I think this is a lamp. Oh, it's a leaping lamp. Ooh. Okay, let's put it on the desk. Ooh. I don't know why I thought this was like a some type of like cell phone holder. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that. But it's in the right different swatches. So, ooh. Little puppers. Ooh. <gasps> Clifford. Oh my gosh, Clifford. Coming through. Dinosaur. Ooh. <gasps> ooh, Cheetah the Tiger. Ooh. Tigger? Oh, is that you? Is Tigger, is that you? Gosh, you've been transformed to a lamp. How lovely, Tigger. I love you. Winnie the Pooh, where are you? Oh, but we also have a, a brand new, oh wait, a Dikai Kawaii Nico lamp. So it's like a little cat lamp, which is nice, really nice. A variety of different swatches, of course. And that's pretty much there. I like the little glow in the middle. And then for the next one we have is the Book Fair Bear. So it's like a little raccoon first. And then we have a different, different swatches for them. So we have the bear the polar bear, or no, I think it's a regular bear or whatever. They have some dogs, some cats. Oh, okay, these cats are very, just very, oh, different emotions of me. Oh my gosh, <gasps> this is really nice. So you have like a hamster one, a bear one, a, mm, different swatches, different likeness. So you have, ooh, wait, Foozy Oozy Oozy toy. Oi, there's a little fun in uh, a fuzzy Foozy hamster to play with all over, wait, over here, oh. Wait, is this for your for your kids? Oh, for kids! Oh, it's so cool, and for toddlers, for the imagination one. Oh, that's so really nice. Huh, a little cutie, a little, little cute, cute, a little cutie, cute. Oh, that's pretty nice. So, I thought this was an eraser. Like, I had like, okay, so I had like, I had like a uh, hamster size eraser. Well, not really a hamster size eraser. Like, I had an eraser like, like, that looked like a hamster, and I immediately thought that was an eraser for a second, but it's a toy. Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> Uh, but we do have a new, um, Cranimal, wait, uh, yeah, a Cranimal act, uh, activity table for your kids. So, I kind of like the shape of this. It has more, organ more uh, organization with it. You know, you can put your crayons up here, your broken ones, your scissors, your glue, your paint, and all your little coloring books and stuff like that under there. You know, that's pretty neat. Oh, <gasps> the stickers are everything. Oh my, oh, stickers are my life. Oh, oh no, oh my goodness. Yes, give me, give me all that, give me, give me all that, please and thank you. But that's pretty much all we got for this desk right here. But I did already show you the tap tap table, and this one's like my personal favorite one because it has it's like a table aquarium, and that's pretty cool. Like honestly, I'm low key excited for about that one. But this can provide different swatches for that one as well. But overall, this is pretty much the end of the video, I believe. So I don't see anything new else in this pack that we were able to get for this pack. So yeah, nothing new. Oh, we do the create a sim, build and buy, and the well, the build and buy for the doors. But yeah, nothing else new for this entire pack. But overall, I kind of had fun, you know, expressing my opinion, seeing what I think. What I think could have been included cats and dogs, and what I personally do like is the build and buy objects and all the descriptions as well. But yeah, anyway, I hope you guys very much enjoyed this pack overview for the build and buy. I will be doing a gameplay overview, and again, my creative sim overview is down below in the description for you guys to check out for yourself. But anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys all in the very next video. Bye!